Yes, Dr. Nitin. Uh, first of all, like you know, congratulations to you, like you know, for this wonderful uh, work what you people do, like from the uh, field. And since this third, you know, the sessions we are trying to have this, uh, trying to explore this cross bridge collaboration strengthening to strengthen the linkage between the day. Uh, you know the, the local level innovations and the national level innovation system so i mean uh, you know like from your experience because you work on the field and you know you come from the uh, formal uh, uh, you know the innovation system so what are the real challenges you feel and then that how uh, well like what are your suggestions that how we can really um, uh, you know overcome it? like some of the good examples we have seen here in uh, you know like the uh, dr pritpal kaur like you know she's a real bridge like between this uh, you know, the two, two, two uh, system as well as the administration. So Dr. Nitin, like your view on this. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, before I answer your question, uh, since we are talking about NIF, uh, let me just uh, mention about NIF for the benefit of viewers who don't know about us. So NIF, National Innovation Foundation, is an autonomous body of the Department of Science and Technology Government of India, and we provide institutional support to grassroots innovators, that is innovators who are outside the formal system of uh, research and scientific development. And uh, we provide our uh, support by financial support, technical support, mentoring support, uh, we provide support for filing patents, uh, for validation of technologies, uh, for validation of technologies and social and commercial diffusion of technology. So this is broadly uh, what we do. Now, the second thing is uh, I will take forward the reply of Dr. Vivek uh, to your question. Uh, I'll just give you one example. I was there in a meeting at IIT uh, a few years back and we were discussing innovations. And uh, one of the professors there, he remarked that uh, if we are going to work on grassroots innovations, the kind of innovations, local innovations you are talking about, I will not be able to give my uh, students a PhD. They will not be able to go for a postdoc in uh, top universities of the world. And probably they will not have good publications. So that was a very simple uh, statement made by him. And I think uh, we can understand where the problem is. A lot of institutions, a lot of uh, faculty members, a lot of scientists, they take interest in uh, grassroots innovations, but uh, there are large majority who probably because of such reasons, they, they don't take such uh, so much of interest in uh, promotion of grassroots innovations. Uh, probably this is one reason. Uh, another reason may be that when we are talking about uh, the system of promotions in our uh, public funded institutions. It is talking uh, like, you know, getting publications and patents and impact factor and other thing. And uh, the impact that is created at the ground level by any scientist or his or her work, uh, to some extent, that doesn't get reflected properly. So probably at one, I think as a policy decision, somewhere down the line, we mean we may need to think uh, whether the impact factor that one gets through publication in reputed journals is the only impact or uh, the impact that a scientist can create at the ground level is also something to be measured and uh, metrics uh, could be there uh, because of which uh, such people get inclined to work on grassroots innovations and problems. Professor Anil Gupta in uh, one of the Shodhyatra reports that we had in Dahot uh, about 10 years back, he had mentioned people living in different technology time zones. So you will also realize that uh, today we had one group from Chhattisgarh, we had one group from uh, Nagaland, we have uh, one group from Manipur and in the earlier Technive uh, events, uh, we have had people from different other parts of the country. One thing based on your experience and based uh, on the interactions, it will be realized that it is not that everybody in the country needs rocket science. Sometimes people are lacking in basic, simple technologies that can help them in their day-to-day -day life, that can solve their drudgery, that can solve their problems. So when we are talking about innovations, uh, I think we need to consider uh, this aspect as well. Uh, because uh, there may be a number of uh, innovations, there may be a number of technologies which are uh, not innovative, but still they may be needed by people uh, in different parts. For example, uh, 
few years back again i was there in one state i will not name which state and which science and technology council uh the head of the council he asked me to let him know if there is a technology available for plucking of fruits i am not talking about 20 years back i am talking about 4 years back just imagine in 2016 2017 somebody who himself is in a science and technology council asking whether you have a technology to pluck fruits now that is the whole problem there are a lot of areas where we have the most modern of technologies and there are a lot of areas where we don't have even the simple basic technologies so uh how do we promote local innovations so in such areas where uh, there is a lack of technology or where the technology uh, we are at a traditional level or rudimentary level what we try to do we try to identify people who are uh, enterprising people who who believe they can make a change and uh, we try to see if they are able to develop any uh, technological solution for a particular problem in that region or maybe in some other region we can help and support them that is number one number two what we try to do we try to identify technologies available elsewhere which are able to address the problem uh, of that particular region of that particular community and then we try to provide that uh, solution like some of the examples that you uh, showed uh, that uh, the community members they mentioned today now specifically coming uh, to the topic uh, strengthening and nurturing the local innovation now first thing is to identify the innovation dr vivek he heads the scouting and documentation department at nif this is the department which identifies uh, scouts and identifies innovators from all parts of the country to be able to support any innovation we must first be able to locate it identify it and recognize it as an innovation many times people who are doing something of their own to solve their own problem they don't realize that they are doing an innovation they are done something which is not only solving their problem but it has the potential to solve somebody else's problem as well so that is uh, that realization has to be uh, there in people also and we need linkages from all parts of the country nf is a small organization and we cannot be just anywhere and everywhere in the country so through your uh, medium we i request uh, to all the people all the viewers and the listeners who are uh, following this technique program to link the innovators that you find in your region in your neighborhood with nif so that we are able to uh, identify their work we are able to document their work and then see to the best ex- extent uh, what is possible to take it forward that is number one number two not all the projects or the innovations that come to nif they are at, at the same level some people they have an idea to do something innovative some people they may have made a proof of concept some of them may have a prototype some of them may have an innovation innovative product which they may have commercialized also but then again it needs uh, some scientific inputs so depending upon the uh, level at which the innovation is there are different challenges that we face and there are different inputs that need to be given now one very important thing is and nf in fact is uh, supporting in prototyping and uh, validation also uh, but then there is one particular aspect uh, which i will say is uh, which needs support at the policy level also at the funding also that is uh, probably uh pilot scale manufacturing and marketing if somebody has developed say one or two units we can give it to one or two people only but if a product has to be refined properly there has to be minimum critical scale uh, at which it is produced and then it is given to people for uh, user feedback generation that is one thing second thing is uh, while anif is there it's supporting innovators in uh, different regions there has to be some fund which is available at the state and district level with uh, whichever department the government identifies uh, the national innovation council uh, in one of its reports uh, they had proposed in fact the 13th finance commission it has proposed uh, implemented the district innovation fund uh, to support uh, 1 crore rupees every district to support innovation but somehow that scheme could not take uh, it was not very successful so schemes like these are should be made available at the district and the state level so that the number of innovators 
who are there in any particular district or state they could be supported or through such kind of fund technologies which are available with institutions like nif or maybe some csir institutions or maybe icr institutions they can be provided to the people in the districts because many times due to this uh, lack of this particular funding or linkage uh, such efforts uh, they not fructify now another thing is uh, in every state we have engineering colleges we have management colleges M many of our innovators uh, they lack technical knowledge they lack the knowledge of marketing they they don't know how to take forward they don't know uh, the taxation uh, related things they don't know market strategy business strategy they have solved one problem they have come up with innovations so why can't the local institutions from uh, one state be mandated to support such innovators in their region in their state so that at the local level nearest uh, point available to the innovators they get the required mentoring support or technical support to take forward their innovations so these were some ideas that i thought i should share maybe you can ask some some other things Th Thank you, thank you, Dr. Maria. I think this is uh, like this what you are looking for uh, from your you know the practical experience, and you have come out with the you know the local level uh, the the manufacturing uh, like as you have told already, and also you have told about that the uh, you know like the local institutions they uh, uh, you know nurturing the uh, or supporting with the local innovators. But I think the most important point and that I will request uh, Professor Anil Gupta to take it at the higher level also. Like I think that our total academic you know like uh, the the promotion process shouldn't be de uh, dependent only on the age index if there should be a you know the local problem in uh, solutions index or problem solution index like if i have solved a problem of a local area or if i have contributed to the problem of a local area like i should uh, be given you know some of the like uh, index value also for my promotion then only like you know the our this um, you know this this two uh, the bridge of the science and society probably will be uh, uh, you know the bond because otherwise this is what uh, dr maria is telling like this is the statement of most of the knowledge institutions like you know because my my students will not get into a good postdoc and my you know like my the the, the, the iit value will not be there but there is a very uh, you know the minority in the uh, the, the iit system they really work towards the in the communities in spite of this type but it's not a problem only on the iits the entire you know like our academic uh, institution system itself so probably like you know that's the one of the uh they take uh take away from this technique and we would you know definitely like to take it with the ministry of the uh, educations and this should be really a, one of the outcome of this azadi ki amrit mahatsav if we really wants to make ourselves sufficient it is not only the infrastructure you have to change into the system and as a result like you know that's the reason uh, like you know we are also for, um, focusing on as important is an individual intervention that important is also the you know the system understanding and the that system strengthening so that the individual experience can be upscale immediately because this is the 75 years we have suffered that they are a very good you know we have very good uh, tendulkars but they're very, really we need team india so and this this is one of the uh, like you know uh, we have very good success like all over this year it is not that there are not good success stories or the individual success stories we need a really a systemic team india success story and which can be the uh you know like the uh, which can be the example before the uh country 